Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Excuse my voice, I am getting over a cold. It is the season, right? Um, <clears throat> I had in my mind to draw a zebra giraffe. I know that sounds funny, but the uh, black and white stripes it were in my mind and then drawing a giraffe. So here you can see I've sketched out this little Wonderland giraffe here. And um, I've just got it on a piece of watercolor paper and I've um, just dropping some wet and wet. So I have used clean water on um, the, I'm not doing the stripy neck part, but just the head and the little spotty uh, rest of the body and legs. And I drew that with that blue pen you can kind of see up in the corner. And just to give you an idea, I popped the final picture up there just so you can kind of see where we're going with that. But um, just so just dropping in, I've got my Ganzai Tembi uh, Kirateki watercolors and I'm just using some browns and some sort of rusty reds and then uh, just those kinds of colors. Just kind of, this is obviously not a real giraffe. <laughs> um, artists take great liberties, right? But um he's an imaginary giraffe, so he's going to have some interesting things about him, although giraffes are already very interesting. But um, anyway, just going to continue to drop all that color in. And um, I drew the spots, but I'm kind of following them, kind of not, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you, but you can certainly be neater and tidier than I am. That wouldn't be a difficult feat to <laughs> to achieve but um anyways uh and then during uh the course of painting him i'm going to dry him a few times and then layer on that color and then we'll add some other media as well so now i'm going in between the stripes there and uh, just kind of putting in this sort of cream ivory color um it doesn't stay that way but um here we go dropping in that brown just for a little shading and um yeah actually this has turned out to be fun i i ended up turning it into some seamless patterns as you'll see at the end of the video that i'm gonna eventually be selling on etsy and my patreon and um uh, and spoon flower as fabric and by the way you can with my patreon shop if you just support me for I think it's three dollars a month um, you can get all my digital designs for free so that is a very very good deal <laughs> um, run don't walk uh, but anyway they also will be available on Etsy and as I get time I am loading them onto patreon and Etsy's been kind of weird lately um I don't know. I don't know if it's getting overrun with, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have my theories, but, um, and I think the management of Etsy, uh, granted it's, it's a great platform. I love, I've loved Etsy. I think it's great for independent artists, for crafts, for, uh, people who love to make things. And, um, you know, you always get some of the other, uh, issues, but, um, yeah, it's been hard to get sales with, uh, it's like, if you don't meet their every little whim, <laughs> they kind of don't promote you. I don't know. It's a little bit difficult. So I've had to sort of branch out into some other things. Um, and we'll see how that goes, but I uh, like Zazzle and Redbubble and, but it takes a lot of work to now upload all your work to all these places. So yeah. So anyways, uh, <laughs> also, by the way, uh, papers in Amazon and Barnes and Noble. I know this sounds like a really long commercial, but um, there are links down below that you can always check out. And speaking of helping, if you could hit that like and subscribe, that would tell YouTube to promote this video and other people can learn to paint a wonky giraffe and <laughs> the world will be a happier place. But uh, I'd like to think so. So going in now with, I have my ink tents pencils here, which are a great uh, art supply. You hear me talk about a lot and um, you can leave them dry or you can activate them with water. And as soon as you activate them and they dry, they are permanent. Uh, they're ink, so they kind of saturate that stain that paper uh, so to speak if you would so they don't lift like a regular watercolor would so I'm using the outliner pencil that comes with the set I have the set of 72 and then I recently got um, the add-on the new colors that came out they're also pretty and so vibrant um, I'm adding I also added some Posca pen some white Posca pen to those black stripes and I didn't like how that looked so 
Um, later I go back in and sort of change that up a little bit, but, uh, my zebra giraffe didn't quite come exactly to pass is what was in my mind, but Hey, live another day and draw another giraffe. But, uh, I liked how he turned out and I really like the papers that I made are a lot of fun and uh, I can't wait for you to see those at the end. Uh, hopefully you'll like those too and, uh, wait to, uh, get in the loop to get those. But, um, they were a lot of fun to make. I think they make a great journal. Um, obviously card backgrounds and, and all those sorts of things. I, I giraffe theme or animal print. Who doesn't love animal print, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you're getting in your room there and creating, um, always feel free to dra drop links and comments down below that you can, uh, we can, share the share the camaraderie of um artist and that would be great uh here's my trusty posca pen going back in making some of those giraffe markings and then doing some outlining um on his you know lakes and things uh he was cute had fun making him <laughs> here's one pattern here sort of a these are all seamless patterns and here you can see some really fun as I zoom in on those colors but hopefully you enjoyed that guys thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate your time and I hope you have a wonderful blessed day